Ava DuVernay was announced as a director of the New Gods movie, it was interesting and exciting. You know, the New Gods are an awesome cosmic concept in DC that have never gotten a live action treatment before. Um, why not have them on screen? Having them on screen and adding them to the DCEU would have expanded, will expand, you know, the DCEU's reach, the type of characters, the scope of the stories, and it was amazing. And then right afterwards, I think the MCU announced that they were going to be making an Eternals movie. I feel to steal some of the new, well, a lot of the new gods thunder because the Eternals and the new gods are very similar. They're basically cosmic space gods on the outer edges of the Marvel and DC, their respective universes. And I think that the reason that Eternals was green lit was to, you know, steal the thunder of new gods. And so now a lot of people are wondering, you know, has New Gods been robbed? Because Eternals is going to come out first. They're already farther along in production than Ava DuVernay and her co-writer Tom King. And so people are like, well, what is DC going to do? How are they going to make New Gods original and special if, you know, Marvel's releasing their own New Gods first, you know, before? Will it seem like, you know, been there, done that by the time New Gods comes out? Well, for one thing... The, we don't know what the plots and storylines of Eternals and New Gods are going to be. I think that if they have different plots, even though they have similar types of characters, cast of characters, if the plots are different, they won't seem like the same thing. So I think there's hope in that regard. But even in spite of that, I think there's another, there are other bigger reasons how Ava DuVernay and Tom King can differentiate New Gods from Eternals. Now, we've already seen some, like, rumors and about, you know... People being cast as Eternals like Angelina Jolie, Salma Hayek, I think Richard Madden, as various people like Icarus, Circe, who knows who else. I think Thena is one of the Eternals. But, you know, I think that in terms of casting, Ava DuVernay and Tom King can make New Gods different. If they leaned into the diversity even harder than Marvel might lean into it and make like all the characters people of color, right? Like, Black Panther was black people on the ground. New gods can be black people in space. <laughs> right? If Eternals is having, you know, mostly Caucasian people or mixed races of people or other races, multiple races of people, the way that new gods can seem different if, is if Ava DuVernay makes it like a black people space opera. Or all Latino, all Asian, right? Or if she just makes everybody in that movie, you know, the whole cast is diverse, Right? More so than Marvel's diversity, right? They can one-up Marvel in that respect. That, I think, would just change the entire dynamic of the movie. Now, I know there's a lot of pushback between diversity or, like, serious diversity in, in a lot of corners these days. But again, Black Panther was, a, was, a, was like, an all-black movie for the most part. And that movie made, like, a gajillion dollars. Who knows that Ava DuVernay can't repeat the same thing by making New Gods an all-black movie in space? She could one-up Marvel in that respect. Like, right? like Ryan Coogler and Marvel showed you know, an Afro-futurist tale about a positive portrayal and vision of black people's future on Earth in Black Panther. How do you top futuristic black people on Earth? Futuristic black people in space. <laughs> Which is what Ava DuVernay and Tom King could do. Or you know, all Latinos in space. Or all Asian people in space, right? Or Middle Eastern people in space. Aladdin... A recent movie that was very successful had all brown people for the most part. And that movie is very successful. So I'm thinking that Ava DuVernay, one way she could differentiate it from Eternals, at least cosmetically, is by leaning heavily into diversity. Because I don't know if Eternals is going to be that diverse. I think there will be some people of color, maybe a lot. But I think there will be like probably some Caucasian people in it a lot. Especially if Angelina Jolie is going to be in it. So a way to make New Gods different would be just be to make it super diverse. However, that said, we don't know what the plot of Eternals is going to be, and we don't know what the plot of New Gods is going to be. There are rumors about the New Gods and Eternals plots, but we don't know what is going to happen. So regardless of who's cast and what, or what you know, the ethnicity of the casts are, if the movies have two different plots and two different like stylistic aesthetics in terms of production design and things like that, I don't really think that either Marvel or DC will have to worry too much about being compared to the other team. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.